What's up? My name is Mark. I am a photographer slash videographer. And today I am 26, which means I have one year left to become successful at what I do. This year, I'm gonna be going over what I'm doing specifically to help myself achieve my goals and to you know, maybe help some people achieve some of theirs by following what I'm doing. Right now, I'm going through my website and I'm gonna talk about some of the good things, some of the bad things, and what I'm gonna to do to change it and get it more streamlined. The big problem I have at the moment is that I have a bit of everything on my website, which is no good. I really need to focus on my goals specifically. Last week in the video, I mentioned that my goals were going to be to have 15 weddings booked, have my exhibition slash fine art photography, and to have my Northern Home stuff going. So let's have a quick look at my website and we'll have a look at see what there is there and what there is missing. So as you can see, I've got a couple of really nice photos and this is one of my stronger points, I think, is my opening page. You've got some wedding stuff, you've got some couples stuff. Right here, you have got a, a portrait, which is great, but it doesn't really fit what I'm trying to do. And then we cut back and it kind of doesn't really give me a clear idea of what it is that I, what I do. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna to do to change it up is I'm gonna have some wedding shots, I'm gonna have some short clips of Northern Home stuff, and I'm gonna have some uh, of my landscapes. Now, along the top here, you see I've got weddings, business services, fine art, Northern Home, and then just my social media links. I'm gonna take out the business services one because that is completely unrelated to what I'm trying to focus on just now, not super what is relevant to what I do anymore. The fine art, I'm gonna elaborate, that is, I'm gonna keep that, and Northern Home, I'm gonna keep that. So the fine art is my photography, landscape, print sides of things, so I'm gonna have those. So let's go into weddings and we'll have a quick look at what's there and then we can see how it works. On here you can see I've got information about what I do, a little bit about how I go about shooting my weddings and hopefully an introduction to how people can see what I do. I've got my packages there with the information, which I think is really good. And then in the film section, you've got, again, the same thing. They're fairly brief, which I think is good. I don't think a lot of people are wanting to what, read through pages and pages of information. If they can see some pretty pictures and some pretty videos and really get an idea of what I do, that's your best bet. Let my work speak for myself. So let's go back to the homepage and see what the next category is. So business services, again, I'm taking this out completely. And the reason is you can see that what I do I don't want people to come in and read what I do is not weddings and not what I'm actually trying to do. It's too broad. I'll take jobs from that aren't weddings and aren't landscapes and aren't Northern Home. Like, I'll do those things, but if I'm advertising for them, then that's advertising space and time that I'm taking away from pushing what I really want to do, which is the three goals. Next across, we've got fine art. Now, I do need to update the information section. I think it's a little bit too much text. Now, I really like what I've done here, which is I've got a image that shows in... Ooh, I wonder if that's gonna show up. It's starting to. I wonder if I can talk over it. I might have to pause here just for a second because the washing machine's going. It has stopped. All right, so I'm start another recording and keep going with the video now that the washing machine has stopped yelling in my ear. All right, so we're recording now. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a photo here and I'm really happy with this because it shows a real life example of what my print could look like on your wall, which is great. You get context for size and scale and just get a feel for how it's gonna look. Uh, as I scroll down, you've got the prints. So this is where I've, Basically the way I do my prints is, I'm not really interested in selling a lot of them. I only ever sell five of any of my prints. So they're super exclusive. When you buy one, you know that it's one of, at the very, very most five. I list how many are available, uh, where they were taken, and then the information on sizing. Now I do allow bigger sizing. I don't go any smaller, just because when I print these, I do print them specifically, like design them so that they are large prints and I'm not super interested in selling super small ones especially when they're in such limited runs so if I scroll down you can see basically here's all the prints I'm gonna add to these and I think I'll change it up a little bit so that it'll be a gallery because at the moment you have to scroll all the way to the bottom there's no way of like quickly going to the image that you want so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do instead is have a grid function and then when you click on it, that's when it opens to a full size image with the information inside. Now, this one I'm really happy with. Again, I am gonna change it a little bit. I have information on the series and then some just details about what I wanted to do, how I'm doing it. 
and then some examples of the videos. And then if you scroll down to here, all of these will link to their respective YouTube videos. Let's go into some of the other pages and what I really wanna change. So if you look down the left here, you've got a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. So contact obviously is important, about me is important. We've got the blog, which uh, I wanna start adding to frequently because I think it's a great chance to add content to the website and just get a chance for me to talk about some things that maybe aren't quite as specific to, to what I do normally. Uh, and now if you look down here on the bottom left, this is what I really wanna change. So these are my galleries and there's kind of just a lot here that isn't really relevant anymore. So if you look at weddings, there's a lot of wedding stuff here, which is great. So I'm gonna keep that. I might change it so that uh, as I get more weddings, I'll start dividing into specific weddings. So I'll have names and dates attached to it. But at the moment, I think it's nice to just have it all in one big clump so you can go through it all without having to navigate away. Again, I've got plenty of engagement shoots done. So this is a really good chance for people to go through and just really see more in depth from each shoot. Events will disappear entirely because I don't want to focus on them anymore. I think it's really great having these and I might find somewhere else to put them. I might have like a, a bottom section that's just sort of my past maybe. And that way I can show off all the photos that I'm really proud of. So some of these, you know, I've got to photograph City in Colour, Ed Sheeran, Florence and the Machine, some really incredible artists that I'm so proud to have had a chance to photograph. And I want to make sure that people could see that. But a lot of these photos don't really have anywhere to go. So there's a guy talking, event stuff, you know, sort of nondescript event work, which is not really my thing anymore. That being said, I do want to keep photos like Matt Corby and Brendan Yuri and 21 Pilots somewhere because I'm really proud of how they turned out and I think it's a really cool part of my past that I got to photograph these people. So moving on, we've got portrait. Again, don't need it. Um, portraits are great, they look nice but it's essentially a bunch of photos that would look really good on uh, an Instagram profile for someone who maybe does this as more of a hobby or Instagram is their job. And that isn't the case for me. I have Instagram, but it is more of a business tool for me. So I don't really need to have, you know, four dozen portraits, which they look great, but they're not something that I'm really gonna be using to advertise anymore. So again, exactly the same thing with food, product and drink. I'm probably gonna just take off this entire page. I don't really see the necessary need for it. Same with other work and families. Instead of trying to be a jack of all trades, I wanna be a specialist in the, the very specific things that I do. So that's the main takeaway from, from my website is while there's a lot of cool design things that I like and I wanna keep, the problem is that it's too general and it's too broad. It sort of tells people that come to my website that I do a bit of everything, and that's not what I want to do anymore. I want to focus very specifically on weddings, portrait, uh, landscape, sorry, and my northern home stuff. By taking all that off, it's going to give me more chance and more room to expand on my wedding things and all the other details and have a bit more of a succinct website. So I think that's going to be really handy. And yeah, fingers crossed that we can go ahead and do that. So pause here, I'll be back, and we'll uh, see how my website looks. Plot twist, I don't change my website at all and then hope that people don't watch this far into the video. All right, so I'm back. Now I've changed a bunch of the things on the website. Some things do still need to be fixed and I do think I'm gonna be adding and changing it as I go. But as a general, it's a lot more focused and it's a lot more directly to the point, which is really what I wanted to focus on this week. So let's have a look at the website and see what I've changed, what I've kept the same and how it's all looking. So if you have a look immediately, I've taken off the unnecessary links that I said I was gonna keep there. I've also changed some of the imagery so that it's a bit more updated. Some new images there, but it's all couples based. Now let's go through the weddings. With weddings, what I've done is I've pretty much kept this exactly the same. I've just changed it so that the gallery is in the same page. So they can read my information here. You got the information, you got wedding information, film information, and then you've got photos. And if you click on them, they will open up and you can swipe through them like this, which is really nice. It gives you a chance to look through a lot of the photos without having to click away from the link. So you can look at them, scroll back up, and then read the info. Fine art. Uh, again, I've updated what I've said, so it's less to do with COVID and more long-term description. So this way, no matter when you look at it, it will be relevant. Now, what I have done is I have taken away the number of availability and the pricing and sizing because each print is going to be unique. I will offer size, specific sizes, but if you want to go bigger, if you want to go in between sizes, that's also an option. And I didn't want to have lists and lists of information. It was more a matter of just email me and then we can figure out what works best for you. Again, you got the galleries just here. You can scroll through much more quickly. I have added a few new photos like this one. This actually, really exciting. I got to print it to 64 inches across for a friend of mine and it looks 
insane. I couldn't believe how well it came out. It's beautiful. Um, all right, next we've got Northern Home. Uh, again, pretty much kept it the same. This one actually is exactly the same, so we don't need to go through that. Now, this is the big change that I've made. I have moved the About Me, the Contact, and the Blog pages to my secondary navigation. The reason being is I got rid of my galleries. I didn't have all those galleries there anymore. I only need the ones for weddings, analog sessions, and some more specific things. So when I went back through, what was happening is I only had two galleries and I thought that looked a bit weak. So I got rid of them entirely and I made my secondary navigation something else entirely, which I think works a lot better. So if we look now, I've got this new page, which is elopements and engagements, once it loads. Now straight away, I've got a quick brief about what I do for elopements and engagements. Now, I don't have specific packages, partly because what people want to do is going to vary so much. Some people are going to want to go to the Highlands and there'll be just the two of them with the celebrant. Some people are going to have local elopements. Some people are going to have engagement shoots up in the Highlands. It all depends on what you're doing. So having a standard package doesn't work. So I've got a video here uh, from some of my briefs and shoots and I have a new section about analog sessions. Now, I recently launched these as a way of bringing film photography back to somewhere where I can do it professionally and include it as a package option. I'm kind of thinking about splitting these pages into two separate ones, but at the moment I quite like how it's very succinct and it's very specifically, this is you know all one group and there's less navigation, which I like. So if we move down to these ones, again, pretty much the same. Blog has just moved, I haven't changed it. Uh, I will be adding to this each week. About me, I have updated a little bit. I basically took out some of the photos that weren't of me. I added this one because it's talking about how I moved to Edinburgh and it's Edinburgh Castle, so it kind of works out. Uh, and I updated some of the text, but not all that much needed to be done, to be perfectly honest. The main thing to take away from this is that I have updated the website so that it is a lot more concise. It's very clear what I do, and that's what I really wanted from this and why I wanted to update my website like this. Really hope that it's been interesting. Hopefully you take away some of the mistakes that I've been making in the past and maybe if you're making your own website, it's really handy to do. So that's all for this week. Next week, I'm gonna be talking about my analog sessions, the paper and why I chose to do them. And then we'll see how we go from there. Have a good day.